Monday, Tiff is off today. She's visiting her mom. Andrea Belke joins me for a chat. She's a Wisconsin girl, but she's been in New York the past couple of years as an actress and TV host. She was also a contestant, get this, on Survivor three times. Hey, Andrea. What's up, Molly? Thank you so much for having me. It's a beautiful day. I'm here in Random Lake, Wisconsin. So thank you so much for having me on your show. Absolutely. Yeah, you're joining us from a beautiful part of the state. It's so great to meet you virtually. We chatted a little bit via email, but it, it's really nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I've watched your show before and I think it's so fun. So I'm delighted. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. And that's one of the things we've talked about is just kind of having fun and a little bit of lightness during these difficult times. So tell us about being on Survivor. I, I think it's amazing that anybody would do it one time after seeing the show, but to do it three times, that is impressive. It is addicting, Molly. I mean, I, the first time I did Survivor, it was 10 years ago. And then when they ask you back, it's hard to say no because it's this adventure of a lifetime. You could win a million dollars. You get to meet all these people. And I'm very competitive. So when they ask me to play again, I always say yes, even though it's, it's it takes a lot out of you physically, <laughs> emotionally, mentally. It's a really draining process, but I'll probably play again because I can't say no. Really? You would do it again? Absolutely. Even though it's it's difficult on your body, it's still worth it because it's brought me a lot of opportunities. And again, like I said, I'm super competitive. So one of these times I'm going to win. I'm not going to be a three time survivor loser forever. Right. <laughs> yeah. You're gorgeous, too. I always wonder what would be the hardest part. And I think about the fact that people see you on TV, not only sweating and, and giving it your all, but, you, you know, no makeup. And then you might be eating these disgusting bugs or other things. So I'm curious what you think was, was truly the hardest part to survive about Survivor. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned no makeup. I was worried about that. However, I think I looked better on Survivor because you get really tan. Your hair gets all beachy and everything. So actually, and your teeth look really white for some reason. So <laughs> I feel like that was fine. The hardest part is just not eating because you're actually, you're eating a handful of rice in the morning and a handful at night. Maybe you get lucky and you have a coconut. That's all. So you're eating probably under 500 calories a day. So every time you stand up, you get very faint. Um, you're, you know, you know how it is when you're hangry too, yeah. right? And then you're cast with all these people that aren't necessarily the most sane. I mean, you got to be a little crazy to be cast on Survivor. So all of that added in, and all the pressure that you're under. I mean, that's why it's great reality TV. I mean, nothing is scripted because you're just miserable the entire time. <laughs> I would be miserable. I don't like to be like heat and humidity. I, I'm not so great. And then to, if it's raining and I can't sleep because everything's wet, it just freaks me out. But it, it makes me wonder, and we're going to ask our viewers this question on Facebook. Is there another reality TV show you'd like to be on? That's what we're asking viewers or what reality TV show would you want to be on? But it makes me wonder after what you said, if you'd like to be on Survivor again, or is there another one you'd like to be on? I would do Survivor again, or maybe The Amazing Race. I mean, I actually am terrible with direction, so I need to be partnered with someone that can actually get me around. But I like the competition aspect of it. I like the challenges. So probably The Amazing Race. I don't think I would ever do something like The Bachelor. I think my parents would be really upset if I was making out with someone on TV. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes they do more than make out, so I get that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with my dad parents. would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about people now and the, the hosting that you've done of celebrity interviews. And I'm going to take you through some of the celeb pics that you shared with me because I want to get your thoughts. First about Brad Pitt. I absolutely love him. Were you freaking out? Freaking out. I mean, look, I've interviewed a lot of actors over the last five years working for people. And I think I blacked out. I mean, he is so <laughs> charming. And when you're actually face to face with him, he's just this, mo he's this gorgeous specimen of a creature. Like he's incredible. So I, I'm glad that he's your crush because he's my crush as well. Also just very, very nice too. But Aww. yeah, Brad Pitt, such a highlight. Uh, that's great. He is the best smile, I think. He just like, when he smiles, it's just like, oh, I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, a lot of people, huge fans of this longtime Hollywood couple. Yeah, I mean, they make me believe that love is real. 
They're so sweet together. He's known as the nicest man in Hollywood. And I agree. I mean, he's super nice. She's also very talented together. There's this power couple. So that was also a highlight. That was at the SAG Awards in January. So it was really great to meet them. Man, you've had a life. What about Mike Myers? Oh, he's a hoot. I interviewed him at the premiere for Bohemian Rhapsody. And he kept photobombing me and Rami Malek, who's also the star of that movie. <laughs> and in, I think in the picture that you're seeing, he kept saying, OK, now let's laugh as if, as if someone made a joke. And then he go, ha, 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 So then we'd all <laughs> laugh at him doing this. And it was just really, really funny. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what about Jennifer Aniston? She's gorgeous and such a sweetheart. That was at the time where everyone was wondering if Jen and Brad would get back together because they are these friendly, supportive exes. So we were all kind of on pins and needles waiting to see if we would spot them together. And we did. And they even kind of held hands for a brief moment. But they're just supportive exes. But she was great. I'm a huge fan of Friends as well. Yeah, I think she's super cute. What about Robert De Niro? I, I feel like I would be afraid to interview him. Okay, this is the shocking part about him. So he's obviously this legendary actor. You're talking Goodfellas, Taxi Driver, The Godfather. He's actually really low key. It's shocking how low key and not intimidating he is. I thought I was going to be very nervous interviewing him. Yeah. But he's kind of just a regular guy. I mean, he's Robert De Niro, but he's very <laughs> chill. So that was surprising. I thought I was going to be very nervous, but. He's kind of just like an everyday guy. I like hearing stuff like that. I think Jennifer Lopez, I mean, what she did at the Super Bowl just blew my mind. I think she is so gorgeous. She is beautiful. She is so talented. That's another interview where I think I just, you know, I left my body. Like, I wasn't sure what was going on. And that actually was interesting. It was a challenge for me as a reporter because at this specific carpet, you have to be aggressive and run and try to get the interview with her. And I'm not, I don't know. I like people coming to me. I don't necessarily like to say, J-Lo, J-Lo. But I did that and she stopped. She answered some questions and my producer was very happy with me. I didn't even know what was going on at the time because I was just worried and trying to get these questions asked and it all worked out. But she's so gracious and yeah, what a stunning lady. How about Shaq? You, I, I gotta tell you, you look like a shrimp next to him. <laughs> I know. Shaq's probably one of my favorite interviews. <laughs> I've interviewed him a few times. He is a riot. He's so funny. The last time I talked to him was actually a couple weeks ago, sitting here in Wisconsin interviewing him on Zoom. And he asked when he can come to the farm to ride horses. No way. So I think he wants to come. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to get a big draft horse for him. He's a very <laughs> tall man. But it was it was cool. He's like, when is your dad going to have me come out and ride horses? I'm like, anytime you want, Shaq, you can come to the farm. Oh, I want to talk about your dad because I'm going to take a brief pause because you did an interview with Henry Winkler, which, you know, Milwaukee people love him. Maybe all of Wisconsin loves him. And your dad is a big fan, right? And he was in the background. Set it up for us and then we'll play it. Yeah, so my dad always wants to meet these celebrities, but I never have the chance because I'm in New York. So I was talking to Henry and he asks who I'm quarantining with. And it just so happened my dad was there. My dad did know that that I was going to be interviewing Henry. So he was ready with his jacket. But yeah, <laughs> this is what follows. Let's see. Look. Actually, you know what? I've never done this ever, Henry, in my five years at People Now. But my dad is a really big fan. He does want to say hi. You can say hi. This is my dad. Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> Your dad giving his best Fonzie impersonation. My dad was so happy. I think he showed that clip to all of his friends. And the cool part was Henry actually sent out some autographed pictures. Like that day, he got them in the mail. And so it was a week later, all of a sudden these pictures signed by Henry Winkler, the Fonz comes to our house. So my dad is very, very proud of that. Aw, that's so cute. I got to know, uh, being in New York for so long, what did you miss most about Wisconsin? Maybe other than your family, because I'm sure you miss them. But, but what do you miss about our state when you're away? I miss so much about Wisconsin because the people are so nice. I always break it down like this. So in Wisconsin, if you're going for a jog or biking, you wave to people on the street or people passing by. I'll wave to cars I don't even know. And then they beep and it's really friendly. 
And in New York, if you did that, people would think you were crazy. But in Wisconsin, people would think you're crazy if you don't wave to people on the street. I mean, the people are so nice. Don't get me wrong. I love New York, but I miss the people here. I miss riding horses on the farm. I miss open spaces. Yeah. I, there's so much. I, I'm just, I'm so happy to be back. I got back in March and the day I got back, lockdown happened in New York. And it's just been a real treat for me. Obviously, these are horrible times. No one wants to be in a global pandemic, but it's been really sweet to be home with my family. That's so cute. And you know, I looked at your reel because our executive producer shared it with us and I was so impressed. Um, you remind me of Tiffany, my co-host, because you you are so talented. You're gorgeous too, um, but you have such a knack with people. I have to admit the, the part where you were with a snake completely and totally <sighs> freaked me out because you legit had it wrapped around your neck. I love a good challenge. So when they brought a snake, they also brought a tarantula into studio as well. I'm going to be the first person that says, okay, let's do it. Because I don't actually like snakes that much only because I was, I got bitten by a snake when I was really young. It was just a garden snake out here in my mom's garden. So I'm kind of afraid of snakes, but I wanted to take the challenge. So yeah, wow. you can drape a snake over me anytime you want. Good for you. I love it. We occasionally have snakes here, so maybe we'll have to have you join us when we have a snake here. It was such a pleasure <laughs> chatting with you. Next time you join us, you have to give us your skincare tips because you're just glowing. Thank you. That makes my day for a Monday morning. That I really appreciate that, Molly. <laughs>